they staged up over at the Butterfly parking lot. And then when they got themselves organized, they rolled in here, told everybody one at a time they all had to leave. Um, I told them I couldn't leave. They said that they would deal with me later. Uh, went around the plaza, uh, ran everybody else off, came back, asked me to leave again, which I believe was like the fourth time. And I told them, no, I couldn't leave. So, I was placed in the and given a citation for criminal trespassing on public property, which has been illegally closed by the county um, for dubious reasons. The county has claimed that there was a public health hazard on that piece of property across the street and on this piece of property here, they constituted it being, being closed, that no one would be allowed in here. Yet, they came in here yesterday, they power washed the pavement over here, stirred up the dirt a little bit, spread Roundup all over the place, and then the growers market came in and set up fresh fruits and vegetable stands to sell public fresh fruits and vegetables, which are now contaminated by the airborne chemicals that you would find in Roundup. So, when the evening came along, they started putting the barricades up. I decided I wasn't to leave in here. So, now that, now that the public had moved into the here, um, we had our drum circle, and uh, at the end of the day, I just wasn't gonna leave. They can't do the double standard. They can't sit there and, and selectively enforce a rule and then give a BS story of why it's okay for them to selectively enforce the rule. Um, the truth is they lied. There was no biohazard over there. They never used any biohazard chemicals. And if they would have, um, I would have thought the people cleaning up would have been in biohazard suits. Which they weren't. They were just in yellow safety vests. Spraying Monsanto brand. Is it Monsanto brand? Is Roundup Monsanto? It oh, has yeah. to be Monsanto, right? Oh, yes. It's, everything is fucking Roundup is Monsanto. definitely Monsanto. So, so that's where we're at. So I took an arrest. We'll see what happens. They've already lost 22 times. Like I told the officers, you did four more citations yesterday. You're going to lose those four cases. Now you're citing me today and you're going to lose that. It doesn't make any sense that we're spending so much time in community assets prosecuting people who end up in court with these citations thrown out. 22, 22 already. We got five more about ready to get thrown out. I guess the city and county just thinks it's okay to piss money away. If in fact this was a biohazard and as dangerous as they claim it was, as soon as the people started moving the gates this morning, they should have been in here on top of that. Nobody showed up all day. Nobody came in here and warned anybody that there was a biohazard. Nobody told anybody to leave until the end of the day, when the crowd had filtered out, and we're down to a dozen and a half people, then all of a sudden they come in and tell us that we have to leave, that the place is closed. So it's all a line of BS. All of it's bullshit. It's interesting that it's Free Speech Plaza. It seems like it's okay to play music and party all day, but don't you use it for free speech? Well, they, exactly. Can I use that line when I talk to the commissioners on Tuesday? Go for it. That, that's the other double standard. When this thing was conceived, constructed, and dedicated, it was dedicated to the idea of the community having a free speech center. It's in all the paperwork, you can read it, it says exactly what it was for. It was never meant for vending, it was never meant for anything else. So the Saturday Mart people and all these other people that seem to be upset because this place was closed, don't realize that this isn't supposed to be where they're at. They're supposed to be at anyway. They're not supposed to be here vending. They're supposed to be here defending the rights of free speech, civil liberties. That's what this this is for. It's not it's not a hippie mall. It's not a vendor mall. That's the whole thing. It was all about money. They opened that up over there because they need to make sure the money and the revenue is flowing. And I get it that those vendors need to make money. But those vendors put themselves in a position where they're on a piece of property that's now been sprayed with poison. I don't know how much money they made, but I don't think it's enough money to pay the medical bills of the people that's going to get sick from eating that shit because now it's poison. And who knows, they may not even know where they got poisoned. A week or two later, they're sick and they don't know where they got sick. They have no idea that, well, it happened to be they were exposed to Monsanto Brown Roundup at the organic farmer's market. How insane is that? That's pretty insane. And, they, and, and they're saying that the homeless people are creating hazards in this, in this community. They're creating a hazard. And the whole thing is that 
we had one of the largest thunderstorms in this town in over a year. The day before they showed up to pressure wash over here. So what happens? Mother Nature said millions and millions and millions of little raindrops, little work crews to clean everything. So they didn't need to clean nothing. It was done, it was all clean. It had done been clean. They want to claim that they spent $20,000. The top wage of an employee was maybe 25 bucks. They had $100 worth of equipment. If they spent $1,000 to clean that, I'll kiss their ass. It didn't cost nothing. It didn't cost anything. I'd be curious the rest of that was an administrative fee that went to one of the... Exactly. Workers. It was somebody padding their pocket. It sure didn't go to fixing that lot. That yeah. lot don't look any better now. I don't know, but it seemed to me like these spaces were just as clean if not cleaner than usual when that protest left this site. When Sleeps left this site, this site was cleaner than when we came here. There was no, there was no question, because we already know we're on point. We already know we're under the microscope. So if we leave a dirt trail, geez, I mean, that really doesn't score any points. So we have to cover our ass. That's why we have contracts for our people. That's why we make sure that everybody does what needs to be done according to the way we have it planned. Yes. He actually Consider seemed rather sympathetic. I, when I explained my story, he's like, I get it. You can see that they know it's not okay. They know there's something wrong. They know wrong. it's not okay. Matter of fact, they're sworn to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Oregon. And if you read the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Oregon, it specifically says that the government cannot pass any laws that would restrict the citizens' ability to redress the government for grievances. So by closing this plaza and, and trying to put a law into place saying that you can't be here for certain hours is actually a violation of both federal and state constitutions. They've been told that. They aren't about to not follow direct orders because they have mortgage payments to make. They've got kids that are in school that need clothing. So I guess I understand these police officers' point. But like I've all asked them, you do have the right, right? to say no. So they willingly move into it. As far as I'm concerned, they've prostituted themselves. Because you know you're doing something wrong and you're still doing it because you need that wage, you need that pay. At some point in time, money has to be less valuable than a human being.